Okay guys, real quick today, uh, replace an injector in a 2017 uh, GMC Duramax, uh, GMC Chevy, whatever. Uh, this is a GMC 3500 HD. Uh, anyways, when you replace an injector on these, you have to program the flow rate for the injector. The flow rate programming is found right here. You read it left to right, top to bottom, just like a book. This stuff over here is part numbers, but you need this. Let's go inside. To do this, you need some type of a scanner. I'm using an Autel MX808. Uh, got some updates there because my subscription's expired, but it still works. Service, injector, GM. Trying to keep that glare down as best we can, but it's tough today. Auto select, read my VIN. Okay. Yes. Okay, we're going to go into hot functions. ECM. Right here, injector flow rate programming. I did number four. You can do any of the eight. There's your flow rate program. Now the only thing that you're gonna notice is that F7. That F7 precedes those numbers that were on your fuel injector. injector. Uh, so you're gonna come down here and hit edit and it'll give you the option to change that. Um, so you hit okay and it will go to write options. It will write options. Uh, I had to do the procedure twice. The first time I hit write options, it said function not supported and the second, and at that point, it took my F7 and it made it all zeros. I went in a second time and did the same thing and it wrote it successfully. Didn't have any codes or anything. Um, went ahead and backed out, went into the computer, cleared all my codes and test drove. Uh, seems like a success. Great little scanner, this MX-808. It's like 400 bucks, but man, you need it for brake jobs, um, flow rate programming. It does everything short, really, I think, of VGT programming. But, uh, Great deal for the money if you're just getting in.